Hello, welcome to 4 Minutes Closer to God. I wanted to talk about the plight of Philip Carlyle and Ann Wheeler. Why would they want to rewrite the stars? This is in The Greatest Showman, and they're flying around in a circus uh, ring with trapeze-type elements and makes for a great song. The thought being that uh, they are separated by cultural differences. He's a rich white guy, and she is a lower-born uh, black woman, and so that keeps them apart. And he wants to know, just because I want you, why don't we rewrite the stars? And she's hesitant. And so we get this great song and scene in the movie, Well, where's the idea come from? So we have Romeo and Juliet. The chorus at the prologue of the story says, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. They were in families that were warring, and their suicides at the end of the show then brings them, those families, back together, similar to what's going on in uh, West Side Story, where the gangs are kept of keeping Tony and Maria apart. We also have star-crossed lovers, uh, Lancelot and Guinevere. She is married to King Arthur, and so she can't be with Lancelot um, legitimately. We have Heathcliff and Catherine from Wuthering Heights, and we have Jack Dawson, a low-born white male, with Rose on the Titanic, and in that story, they are star-crossed lovers, and he eventually loses his life while she is uh, out in the icy waters um, in the North Atlantic. And so these star-crossed lovers uh, create a good story and a good song uh, in The Greatest Showman. And so where does the idea come from? Well, we have astronomy and we have astrology. Astrology at one time and astronomy were the same thing. And so we, a lot of famous people, uh, Galileo, Galilei, Johannes Kepler, and others of that sort were astronomers, but also astrologers. The difference is astronomy, um, literally the law of the stars, is the scientific study of heavenly bodies, uh, sun, moon, stars, uh, galaxies, and the like, where astrology is the theory or study of the stars, but that's in order to tell uh, tides, eclipses, uh, religious festivals, and the like, and that's where the astronomy and astrology tend to overlap. And then there's the judicial type of astrology where the hidden influence of stars and planets is shown to come onto human affairs um, and how that plays out in individual lives and the like. And so where in the Bible would this uh, sort of thing be? Well, we have in Genesis 1, 14 to 17, God said, let there be light in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons for days and years. And so the days and years we understand, um, the signs and seasons, uh, we recognize that the constellations are in place in different seasons of the year, but also the signs that come well, Revelation 12 being a large example of this. And so God set in place the stars to tell things about the human condition and uh, the advancement of history and the like. And so astrology has run with that, where astronomy just emptied itself of those sorts of things and just studied the uh, particles uh, in the sky, the sun, the moon, stars, and the like. And so what God has instituted was this uh, ability to determine things from looking at the signs and the seasons. But he also says, when you look to the heavens and see the sun, moon, and stars, the host of the whole heavens, do not be enticed to bow down and worship what the Lord your God has given to all nations under heaven. And so, and 
Wheeler and Philip Carlyle are trying to rewrite the stars in order to get themselves together um, and have a happy life together, and we wish them the best. A man can change his stars, and I won't spend the rest of my life as nothing. There is no fate but what we make for ourselves.